Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Hara Sakib. And I'm Matthew Girona. Today is Wednesday, November 20th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Attention lead members, today we'll be making cards and putting together gifts for homeless and hospital kids. Tomorrow at 3.20 in HM1, and it's a mandatory meeting. We'll be starting the Angel Tree Project and finishing up the card project. This Friday is the deadline to turn in cookie dough orders and money. Attention all basketball students, the boys' basketball managers have been picked. Please see Mr. Billings for the details. However, women's basketball is still looking for managers. Please come by HJ2 to meet Coach Roth and get an application. Hey Wolfpack, this is a reminder that outlet submissions are now open and will be open until December 3rd. Submit your piece by using the link or by using the QR code. Remember, you can write any, about anything that's on your mind. It can be completely anonymous. We want your voice to be heard. The CRC Outreach Specialist will be here this afternoon from 12 to 1.30 p.m. to meet with you one-on-one. -on -one. If you have questions about applying for midterms for next September, getting free tuition, or what to do next, please come to the Career Center to schedule an appointment. If you missed our first application workshop, we'll be having another one in January and February for Fall 2020. If you auditioned for Pack Savvy, the list of performers who will be in the show have been posted in the bulletin inside cafeteria. The show will be on Friday, December 6th at 6 p.m. Tickets are $2 at the door. Come support your friends and witness some amazing talent. Now let's, pa let's pass it on over to Austin and Caitlin for your In the News report. Hey there, Wolfpack. I'm Caitlin Scholl. And I'm Austin Scherer, here with your In the News update. A local Elk Grove Chevy's restaurant has been closed due to an infestation of vermin. A number of rats, mice, roaches, and flies were found in the restaurant by a health inspector, forcing them to close. It is set to reopen soon after a reinspection takes place. In international news, last week's bill on Hong Kong has been passed by the Senate and awaits Trump's signature, a second bill that will bar the exports of items like tear gas, pepper spray, rubber bullets, and stun guns has also been passed. Uber has recently confirmed a new safety feature for its app, which is being tested in Latin America right now. The new feature would allow users of the app to record the trips. This is to hopefully ensure the safety of the driver and the passengers. In Florida Man news, police pulled a man over for failing to pause at a stop sign. The police noticed an open Budweiser can along with a crack pipe. Upon further investigation, they concluded that there was residue of crack cocaine in the can. The man merely claimed that the police or the wind must have put it there. Guess what, gamers? Half-Life 3 is finally confirmed, sort of. Valve announced Half-Life Alex, its first big VR game and the first Half-Life game in years. It will be exclusive to PC with virtual reality setups. Google Stadia has launched its Google Stadia has launched with its fair share of criticism. The cloud gaming service was made for gamers to play any game with a good frame rate and graphics without downloading the game by playing it through streaming. Some people are truly enjoying the service while others are left wanting. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Austin Scherer. And I'm Caitlin Scholl. Back, Back to, to you, anchors. anchors. Thanks, Anchors. We would like to congratulate the varsity football team for making it to the semifinals. This Friday at 7 p.m., we'll be playing against Elk Grove High School. Tickets are $12 for adults and $5 for students, which needs to show their ID card at the entrance gate. Non-CO students must watch the game on the visitor side. Middle school students and younger must be supervised by an adult. No backpacks are allowed. Tickets can be purchased online. Check your Synergy email for the link. The five-year anniversary of LinkSync will be Thursday, March 12th. Since it's the fifth anniversary of CO's only lip-sync competition, it will be the Decades Edition. Contestants need to perform a song from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. If you want to sign up for the Link Sync auditions, you should, be, you should sign up in the cafeteria during both lunches on January 21st through 30th. First round auditions are February 3rd through the 5th. Looking forward to hearing from you. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Hara Sakib. And I'm Matthew Joner. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Peanut, Peanut Butter, Butter Fuzz Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.